Welcome back to CCFC. If you're wondering, this is the coolest jumper you could possibly wear if your name is Kieran Carlin and you really like Premier League football. It's the Premier League predictions. Now, the video was sunny last week was uh, ultimately completely redundant because an old lady who was 96 years old shockingly passed away. But the football's back on for some teams. Aston Villa, Southampton. Aston Villa got a draw last time with Manchester City Football Club and I was fuming. Saying that, I wasn't actually that fuming. I was a little bit annoyed, but I was, I was pretty hammered and I went to a party. So swings and roundabouts they're up against southampton southampton very inconsistent form okay they can't string two wins together they win lose win lose win lose so they're gonna win this one because they lost the last one i'm gonna go 2-1 southampton aston villa shows some heart against city okay steven gerrard kept his job but i think they're gonna come crashing back down to earth against southampton and i don't think they're gonna build on it because I think the whole team are going to be very upset about, about the recent events. 2-1 Southampton. Nottingham Forest versus Fulham. Now, Fulham have also fallen into a win-loss, win-loss recent form trap. Forest have fallen into a trap. Just a whole bunch of L's. Still not convinced about Forest. They seem to be getting close to getting something from someone. But they did throw away a 2-0 lead against Bournemouth. A team that they really should realistically be like, we need to get the three points off. And that's pretty embarrassing, okay? Egg and your collective forest faces. I'm gonna go for, oh, do I feel like full hour full I'm done on away games? They lost to Arsenal away and they lost to Tottenham away. Oh, it seems like they're struggling on the road. I'm gonna go for a Draw. I'm going to throw a one-all draw. Any tactical analysis on that one, Kieran? No, no, I don't I don't think you need it. Okay, I think it's, it's quite obvious to everyone around. I thought I'm going to start looking at form a lot more. Recent form, home and away. And maybe sometimes head-to-head. And speaking of head-to-head, -head, Wolves versus Man City. Now, the team that I would like to crush. However, looking at recent head-to-head, -head, we have won the previous four. But only one of those times have we not conceded a goal because we we've conceded at least one goal we've conceded just one goal all the other games so Wolves are going to score one okay they finally won a game against Southampton only one nil though so shock Wolves have scored one goal but they have signed Diego Costa which would have been good about six years ago but if I'm right in thinking the bloke does not score goals anymore he hasn't scored more than five goals in a season, in a league campaign since 2016-17 for five years. So I'm not too worried if he scores a goal against us, which he might, then okay. But I'm going to go for 3-1. Welcome back, Diego Costa. Have a fun 90 minutes and then be shit for the rest. 3-1, Manchester City. Newcastle, Bournemouth. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but Newcastle... Okay. Oh, oh, what a great team. And they seem to be fun. Turns out, I wasn't sure about Alexander Isaac, but you know what? He looks like the real deal. Bing bong. Get a cliche in there. I'm going to try and cram as many of those into my videos as much as possible. If you don't listen to the Football Clichés podcast, you should. Because then we'll be on the same wavelengths because it's, it's really good. Newcastle, Bournemouth. Newcastle have only won one game. They keep drawing. They've drawn to Brighton. Us, Wolves, and Crystal Palace. But surely, surely they finally get their second in the campaign against a poor Bournemouth side managed by someone O'Neill, Steve O'Neill, Gary O'Neill, John O'Neill, John Smith, Tom Johnson. Who is it? No one knows. And we don't need to know because it's going to be 2 0 Newcastle. They're surely going to get the win. Finally, against Bour Bournemouth have won more games than Newcastle. All right? Figure that one out. Locking that one in. 2-0 Newcastle. Alexander Isaac with one and... Callum, uh, Callum wasn't injured. He might be injured. I see he's injured. He's always injured. And Fabian Shah were the other. 
Tottenham Hotspur versus Leicester City. The unbeaten Tottenham Hotspur. The unconvincing Champions League outfit Tottenham Hotspur. They haven't really had a good game well, against Southampton, but they haven't really shun. But that's not what Conte football does. It doesn't shine. It doesn't even glimmer. It's a matte finish, but it gets through the game with the points. Leicester, oh my God, they've drawn one game and lost every single other game. Holy shit. But that can't last forever, okay? I, they're not getting relegated, Leicester. Or are they? How funny would that be? I've st I think Tottenham is still going to win. They were very poor in the Champions League. Hyung Ming's son, oh my God, he's become Hyung Ming baby. He's entirely useless. He's entirely dependent on absolutely everyone else to get through a game. I'm going to go 3-1 three, three Tottenham. I think Tottenham will jump straight back in the league and... I think Leicester, Leicester still have a goal in them. They've only failed to score once. So Leicester have a goal in them, but I just think Tottenham at home, I think they've got it. They've struggled mainly away. At home, they've they've won every game. So 3-1 uh, Tottenham. Sunday, we've got the behemoths of Brentford, the bees, sting against the Cannons, the Mighty Gunners, the Arsenal, the North London Reds, the team that actually moved from south of the river. That's why there's a station, Woolwich Arsenal. That's where Arsenal were. And that's where they should be from. They're fraudulent. Their derby should be with Charlton. Anyway, I digress. Uh, Arsenal lost their first game, but they were beating every other smaller club. And I think they might do it here. Or will they? Ivan... Tony is the man, and Brentford at home are the boys. So with, the, with, the, with that solid analysis, I'm going to go for a cheeky Arsenal loss. I'm going two on Brentford. All right. Now the Super Brew app may at this point go, "Are you sure, mate? You're doing an upset, and you know what? You got to live a little." So I'm going to live a little. Are you sure? Brentford two one Arsenal. You're picking quite an upset. Once you lock, you can't change your pick. I've locked it in. Bitches, 2-1, the bees. Ben Mees bees, Mees bees. Now the final game of the weekend is Everton versus West Ham. Two clubs that I feel like are quite similar in stature and size. Everton haven't won a game yet, but they've drawn four and they've only lost two, but they seem to keep coming back from like losing positions. They're not thrilling draws. Not like Newcastle where you, you feel like it's a it's like a positive, they're like upwards, where Everton are more like <laughs> Really I need I seriously need to be on Sky Sports uh soccer Saturday because with this sort of analysis I am streets ahead of Paul Merson. Everton have they ever scored more than one? They are yet to score more than one, but they do tend to get a goal. Okay, they only haven't scored in two out of six games. So Everton will get a goal. Now using this same logic, let's go through West Ham. West Ham didn't score, lost, didn't score, lost, didn't score, lost. Scored one and one. Scored one against Tottenham and drew. Scored one against Chelsea. So they may also get one. This stinks of a one all. Easy. I'm going to get an exact result on that. There's no chance I don't get a 1-1. If I, if I don't, I'm so sure I'm going to get a 1-1 one, one on Everton West Ham that if I don't, then you know what I'll already do? I'll fucking already do absolutely nothing. I'm not going to eat a hat because I would be seriously ill and I wouldn't be able to get to the hospital because it would be closed because, because the Queen is being put in the ground on the weekend. So we've got no time for any hospital appointments. Make sure you don't go to centre parks. I mean, you're allowed to be in centre parks, but make sure you don't ask the staff anything because they won't be they, they won't be there. They won't be there to help you, right? Go somewhere else for the evening because centre parks is respecting the Queen. We're a weird fucking little country, but it is what it is. I've been your boy, Kieran. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out all the other videos. I like doing kit ones. So any other kit videos, let me know in the comments down below. Or any other video ideas, let me know and I will probably do them. I've been your boy Kieran and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Fuck wolves.